What do you think of Shakespeare? Think of Shakespeare. Old. <laughs> what sort of an answer is that? Old? Well, she's not wrong. Thank you. What do I care about someone writing a boring play a hundred years ago? Never mind Shakespeare. I think the educational system is failing us, miss. It took us longer to set up the camera than talk about plays. No, he's not wrong, miss. I think if you press play, the next girl talks about how Mr. Darcy was Shakespeare's greatest character. Yeah. She was way too proud of herself. Didn't have the heart to correct her. Someone should do. Before her exams. All right. Hands up. Who can tell me what they like about Shakespeare? OK. New tactic. Who here has heard of J.K. Rowling? It took her seven incredible books and she was able to conquer imaginations all around the world. Now there's movies, theme parks, video games. They're even teaching Harry Potter in some universities. So let's put this into perspective. Shakespeare didn't have movies or video games or theme parks in his day. All he had was his quill, a stage, and a group of men dressed like women. And here we are, 400 years later, note that Maeve, 400, still talking about him. A lasting literary legacy, yet to be beaten or matched. I want you to do some research tonight, okay? Pick one of Shakespeare's plays and look at the story. Try not to worry about the funny words that we don't like. Just scribble down some notes. What you didn't like, but also what you do. What do you like about Shakespeare? So, Shakespeare then. Are you talking to me? Obviously. Are we in that class today? Are you the new teaching assistant? Not exactly. Oh, hello. much homework tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna stay behind in the library. Voluntarily staying behind in school is the worst idea ever. What play are you doing for English? No idea. I wonder what Sarah's doing. Also no idea. Oh, homework's gonna take so long. Google, won't take long. Oh. You know, it's frowned upon to look around young students. And yet no one's stopping me. But to more important matters, whatever happened to picking up a book? Whatever happened to getting someone's name? Oh, <laughs> the teenage attitude. Lovely. Who are you? You may call me Puck. Puck? Your clothes are really different. And yours are the same as everyone else's. Let's not judge. So. The Bard. Who? 
Shakespeare! I swear, is this not a place of learning? I mean, why not read of his plays instead of cheating with your precious Google? You miss such beautiful poetry. And there you answered your own question. I'd avoid all the gibberish. Gibberish? I just don't like his stuff. It's dull. Well, you like stories. Books? When I can understand them. Yes. Okay. We can work with that. You ever actually looked up any of Shakespeare's tales? The heart-shattering Romeo and Juliet? Family tragedy of Lear? The treacherous Macbeth? Oh, but you are missing out! A Midsummer Night's Dream? Personal favourite of mine? Never heard of it. It is a comedy with romance and fairies and magic. Ancient Greece. The beautiful Hermia is set to be wed to the young Demetrius. Now, unfortunately for him, Hermia is in love with the handsome Lysander. And Demetrius has also been chased by the not quite as beautiful Helena. Now, throw in a jealous fairy king, a stubborn fairy queen, an ass, a rather handsome fellow fairy to guide too many fools in the right direction, and lo and behold, you got yourself one rather clever romantic comedy, my friend. Take away the fairies and sounds a bit like school. All they do here is run about obsessed with the latest crush. Lovers and madmen have such seething brains, such shaping fantasies that apprehend. <laughs> More than cool reason ever comprehends. And you were doing so well. It means those caught up in the throes of love rarely see things clearly. Or as they really are. Fair statement, I'd say. Well, why doesn't Shakespeare just say it like that, then? <sighs> Different time, mate. People spoke differently, then. In 200 years' time, who's to say students won't feel the same way about your beloved Harry Potter? Why are we learning about it if we don't even communicate the same way? Language evolves. The important thing to remember is, the story still holds true. Shakespeare stood the test of time for a reason. for an imaginary friend. What are you doing here? Tired of here than at home. Yeah, I just needed a head start too. Oh, thanks. Either of you know a player doing for English yet? From you and Juliet. I'm thinking a Midsummer Night's Dream. My sister said to look out for themes, but there's so many. Where am I supposed to start? Themes? Um... Uh... uh what did Shakespeare write about? Um... Choking? Death? Yeah, but they all die in the end. Idiots. Um, love? Shakespeare was pathetic. N no! I mean, um... Romeo and Juliet was a romantic tragedy, so it only makes sense that two main themes are love and death, right? I guess. Oh, I gotta go. Really? Yeah, that was Peter. He's asked me to go to the cinema. I'll just get my sister to help me. See you later. Yeah, I think I'll just get my brother to help too. 
Bye, Mia. Bye, James. Puck is a mischievous sprite from a Midsummer Night's Dream who serves the Fairy King. Folklore suggests Puck is a household sprite who would either trick people or help them, depending on the situation. Am I going mad? I wouldn't worry if you are. The sane ones are awfully boring. Good morning. Where have you been? Elsewhere. Mr. Miller asked me to pass on notes from last week's meeting. I, um, I left them on your desk. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, Lord. What fools these mortals be. I swear, they make it too easy sometimes. What did you do? What I do best. So, it's that time again. Shakespeare. Don't get too excited, guys. Any volunteers? What plays did we all look at? I love Romeo and Juliet. Me too, miss. I wonder why. Why was that? We'll say story. <laughs> OK, what about it? Well, I saw online that West Side Story is based off of Romeo and Juliet. I realised I understood the story when I watched the movie. Yeah, I watched the movie Romeo and Juliet as well. I find it way easier watching it and just trying to decipher over what the words mean. What about you, Maeve? You're a bit quieter over there today. Any pearls of wisdom collected overnight? I did a Midsummer Night's Dream. Nice, one of the comedies, and? I tried reading the text and it made my head hurt. But once I just read what it was actually about, I was able to understand it better. Basically, it's just these people fancying each other. And then the people they like either don't like them back or just don't know. And then nosy people are going about interfering. And then suddenly everyone's running about talking about it. So basically, it's everyone in this school. I guess I could understand it better when I make connections to real life. Stories are pretty similar to books and movies, just the presentation is different. Still, don't like the dialogue though. It can be tough. But whatever. You were right, we were wrong. We judged the book by its cover. <laughs> OK, so what did you not like? James, I can see you're itching. Miss, he wants to climb up a balcony, a really high one. Like, what if he breaks his neck? Why would you even do that? And then there's the whole killing themselves thing. I just don't understand it. Do you remember it's just a story, James? But I am glad to see you got so involved in the end. So, Midsummer Night's Dream then. 
It's still not entirely convinced I haven't just lost the plot, you know, that you're just a figment of my imagination. But those figments can make the best stories. I'd recommend reading it in full, though. All sorts of mischief in there. <laughs>